hello friends welcome to the series of uh, sqli database and uh, now in this video we will see how to insert a data using sqli database so come to the point like uh, i have already running my application on my mobile so how to open that uh, application you need to go in more tools uh, first you need to say inspect element so uh, you need to connect your app a uh, mobile uh, with usb and your usb debugging mode should be on if you're not able to find the remote device option in uh, like beside the console so you need to go on this three dot and uh, in more tool you need to uh, click on remote device button so you will get this window on of remote device and just click on uh, your app uh, your mobile and if the application is running on your mobile you will get something like this just say inspect and then it will directly redirect to your application which is running yeah so here it is my application so here we are uh, we can add the student details and in the below you will get the all the student data okay So as you can see, I'm getting now three, three, seven, uh, six, seven. Now let me add one more data for testing. So I'm adding by my mobile phone. A, B, C, class as five, and marks as 150. Add student so it has been added and you can see the abc is the below one so like this uh, we can uh, we are able to add the student details now let me show you the code so in previous video we have seen how to get all the details of the student from the table student table so these are the some uh, like a script uh, which we are uh, running it from the uh, services which is database service now for add uh, add details also we need to add some entry in database service so uh, first let me go on the database service class so in previous video we have uh, inserted all the data like uh, we have created the student db and uh, we have run our script uh, student script dot sql file so in that uh, then uh, we call the database state and get student will return me the student as the observable with the uh, student of array a student is my interface which will have the all the required data so now come to the uh, last one uh, like this is the load student in that we have called the select star from the student and we set all the details in the students uh, variable and we passed it now this is the uh, adding student data so this in this function what we have done we have created a three variable like uh, this is this will have the name class and mark and then uh, we have assigned one more uh, like uh, one variable in that we have passed it and then uh, we use this command written this database dot uh, execute sql and in that we have passed this insert into students and then uh, these are the column name which we have defined in our database so name this is the name and class and mark so this is these are the column which we have defined and uh, then we need to pass our data so data is this one and uh, then we are saying like after this then uh, data will be this dot load student so it will call the load student and it will again initialize the student with the updated values of the student details okay now come to the second point uh, which is the student page.ts so in that what we have done uh, we need we required one array for the form so this is my student data uh, in that uh, so this is my student data as an array and then what i'm doing here is uh, add student details and i'm calling the function of my db and i'm saying that this dot student data uh, dot, uh, like uh, the single quotes of name then class and then mark so these these are the field of my form 
now let me show you the form also so a student page dot html file in that uh, i have uh, i have an item in that uh, label and input so input as the student data dot name this student data is uh, uh, like uh, this one and in that we are calling the name so this dot input will be student data dot name student data dot class and here is student data dot mark and on click we are calling the function add student detail so it will again go to add student detail function and it will uh, get all these uh, uh, values uh, entered by the user on the form and it will pass to my database function and database function will insert the student detail in my database and it will load the updated student okay so this much only in this video so we have added uh, student detail successfully now uh, let me show you once again that application yeah so this is the application uh, in that uh, we have above one is my student form and uh, below one are the student details so below one we are getting from the this load uh, students function uh, this one we are getting the data from the get student and get student is coming from uh, this uh, load student function uh, like uh, it is hitting the student and student we are returning as the response and these updated students are getting populated on my say uh, this one below of the form that uh, in student where we are uh, asking the input for, for the student after that we are calling the this one list of student and we are printing it one by one okay so yeah this is the application so in this video we have seen how to add the student details using SQLite database in ionic framework so i hope you have liked the video and uh, in next video we will see update function so please subscribe to my channel friends thank you